Dr. Joyce Banda grew up just like any typical African girl, was born in an average working class family, went through rigmarole of taking charge of siblings from a tender age, and rose to the state house as president of the Republic of Malawi. Her main passion is to assist people in rural areas who form 85% of Malawi's population and offer education to the poor. She drew her mission statement in the life at the age of 31, which is as follows. I will spend my life assisting women, the youth and girls, gain social and political empowerment through business and education. She was the first woman to head a state body, namely Malawi Housing Corporation, MHC, Agricultural Development and Marketing Corporation, ADMAC, Malawi Communications Regulatory Authority, MACRA, and the Blantyre Water Board, BWB. An entrepreneur, activist, politician, philanthropist, and global champion for women and girls, Her Excellency Joyce Panda served as Vice President of the Republic of Malawi from 2009 to 2012, and then State President from 2012 to 2014, the first female to hold such positions in Malawi and second to hold the position of president in Africa. Prior to assuming office, President Banda served as member of parliament, minister of gender and child welfare, as well as foreign affairs minister. President Banda was named one of the world's most powerful black women by Forbes in 2013 and 2014 and one of the most 100 influential people in the world by both Time and Forbes. In 2014, CNN named her one of the most inspirational women in politics. She has won numerous awards for her work on the global stage and was recently named one of her political's most 100 influential people in gender policy. She is the founder of the Joyce Banda Foundation, which she established after receiving the Africa Prize for Leadership for the Sustainable End of Hunger in 1997. President Banda regularly serves as a panelist and motivation speaker at international conferences and fora, and has spoken at the International Conference on Women in Beijing, the New Africa Women Forum, the UNDP High Level Dialogue on Good Governance, and Women Deliver Conference. She frequently lectures at the universities, including Harvard Medical School and the Kennedy School of Government, the London School of Economics and Political Science, George Washington University, Kansas State University, New York University, among others. As the journey continues, Dr. Joyce Banda is seen here doing what she loves most. For me, historically, I I strongly believe that this country can only prosper if we don't leave behind 85% of our people. And 85% of our people are grass-based. And those that are in rural areas, uh, most of them are farmers. For me, I believe that the future for this country, and indeed another country in Africa, and it is being said now all over the world, is agriculture. <laughs>